Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, well there's uh, an update today that I will actually also explain a little something because a lot of people are on the uh, impression that uh, something is missing or it's not a complete update when it says preview. So today there's a .NET Framework 3.5.4.8 update for Windows 10 in my case for 21H1. So if you look at Windows updates and you see it, you should see that there's a um, preview update uh, for .NET Framework. And um, a lot of people are on the impression that the preview means that they're test updates and they're not complete and that the real one will arrive eventually, which is totally false. The preview is always there when the update that you get does not contain security updates. So any update that is not security updates will always have the preview name in it. Uh, this is the way that they work. Um, I understand that it can create confusion because you might think that a cumulative update preview is something that is the start of something else that's gonna be completed at some point. Um, I don't know why they actually chose that wording, but every time you see a cumulative update preview in Windows 10, it is simply to say that it's a bug fixing update and it does not contain any security updates. So in this case, KB5004331 released um, possibly today. It could have been yesterday and I haven't checked, but I think it's today. Uh, is a .NET Framework 3.5.4.8 update for bug fixes. Um, once again, a quick update for those that wonder what .NET Framework is. It's an aggregation of code that makes it more simple for developers to create software. So the framework, the .NET Framework, will contain uh, routines and how to do things in Windows that are already written and that when you develop a new software, instead of re, you know, having to write that code, you can use the code from the .NET framework, which is already there, to make it simpler for you to create uh, any software in Windows. So uh, it's bug fixes, no security, and it's here now. As you see here, it wants me to restart my computer to install this uh, bug fixing update for .NET framework. Um, and the reason there's bug fixes for .NET Framework, well, it's simply that some of the routines might have, for example, flaws or bugs that mean a software that will run and need the .NET Framework code could crash simply because the code in the .NET Framework has a problem. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.